Hey, I'm Hal Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. Uh, I was gonna sit down and turn that thing off, but uh, I don't know. I just leave it on it. It's almost 11. It's 66 degrees inside. I've had a fire going all day. This has been a very, very cold day. Was the flea market today? It was like 25 degrees. It's been a cold day. I did fix my gloves. So now my gloves are not as dangerous as they were. But you can tell that it's nice and warm. But boy, I tell you what, it has been a cold son of a gun here. I haven't gone through as much wood as... Well, I went through quite a bit of wood today. I did. I did find some wood the other day, though. I went into Albuquerque and saw a dumpster and stopped by and picked up some. I was going to get a pallet. The thing was too freaking big. I... So I ended up trying to break it up, and it was. You don't want to. You don't want to be a. You don't want to go to some place to pick up something and then leave trash behind. You know. So I ended up cleaning up and throwing everything in the trash, throwing it all in the dumpster. Because most of it, you know, was just so ungainly. It was like some sort of weird pallet that I don't know. It was a homemade thing that they had used multiple times or something. But it was, you know, it had some good wood on it, but. It wasn't worth the hassle to try and take it apart at the time. Because I think I had a boo-boo. I can't remember. Oh, God. I went to the store. To, I went to the flea market yesterday and bought a new, pair, new set of scales. Actually, I traded for them. And I don't know why I did that. I think I did it because I had this one thing. One of the reasons I bought it, I think, is because the scales that I had there... A little bit hard to read, and these others are a little bit. It's fucking stupid. I traded a pendant for it, so that's okay. I, I'm glad I didn't spend money for that because I, I've been spending money on stuff, and I, you know, I'm tired. Fucking tired of spending money on stuff. Other than I'll open that up, it's finished, and so it'll help heat up this room a little bit. 900 degrees inside there. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Oh, yeah. Sit around the kiln and warm your hands. Ah, yeah. That is hot, man. That is like 820, 850 or something coming off of that. a good idea if you could have marshmallows that you could cook at 850 then I could do that you could use marshmallows Whew. today was a rough day it was a freaking rough day I had a stressful thing happen to me totally stressed me out Fuck. that rescue remedied myself It's cold back here. It is cold. Well, it's 58 degrees back here is what it is. 58 degrees. So that's a little chilly. Let's see what it is in here again. Sixty, sixty-seven. 67, I think it is. What it, what it, I just forgot what the, the thing is that I read in there. Anyway, that door right there, and then there's that thing up there, way up there. You can see that thing? That's, a, that's an opening. I'll show it to you from this side. Most people have seen it. See that, see that thing over there? You can see it. 
See that? That's that's how powerful that suction is. That's uh, that right there. I have that. I open that up in the summertime, and that creates a real nice. Uh, uh, my buddy that was doing doing the work, and I suggested we put that there as an airflow. And it was a great idea. And then we put that there, and then I open that up in the summertime, and then you know it it. it uh, all the cold air from the from the studio comes in and helps to cool everything down and it's a nice exchange and stuff. It's really good. But in the winter I always shut it down because all my heat would be going out if I had that thing open right now. Because this little stove right here, as good as it is, it's not going to be cranking enough to heat up this whole... Well, it would. I mean, it could crank to heat the whole house. It could. It actually could. But I'm just, I'm only one person and I'm not going to feed it that much, that much wood. I'm just not going to do that. Because I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, I, I'm a conservative person. That's why I have on a, that's why I have on this, 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 that. You know, most people are sitting around their house and, you know, in their freaking pajamas or some crap. You know, I don't do that. In the wintertime, I put on stuff when I'm cold because I want to conserve my, my wood. I have to. Johnny. I guess that would be oh Judge Giovanni. I mean, if Giovanni and Johnny is the same thing. Maybe Italian. Italian. Maybe Giovanni sounds. Giovanni sounds like. Sounds like Johnny. I don't know. Well, I took. Ah. Uh, took a sleeping pill earlier. Starting to nod out a little bit. So. My bed, my bed's going to get piled up tonight. I mean, it is freaking cold. Uh, I mean, it's snowing out there, too. It's snowing outside right now, and the wind's blowing. Freaking wind's blowing, and it's, I don't know what it's like outside. It just kicks I'll go outside. Well, I did this when I was, one time, one time, uh, I was in, uh, Chicago, at the at O'Hare Airport in the wintertime. Chill factor, 20 below zero. So I went outside to check it out. Man, that is cold. 20 below zero is unbelievable. That's the coldest I ever was in an official thing like that. Well, we've had those temperatures here, actually. We had, I think one time we had 30 below here. Staggering temperature. But I'm not sure if that's accurate. I might have, no, I think that's accurate. I think that's the year that wiped out a bunch of trees around here. I mean, it was I think it was two years ago. Two or three years ago. It was a we had a winter where I mean trees just got freaking wiped out. I mean you can't have trees, you know, that grow up here, you know, they'll survive, but if they don't grow up here, wow. So let's check it out. It's pretty freaking chilly out here. The wind's blowing. I don't know if the wind's blowing, which direction the wind's coming from. It, it wasn't real strong on me right there. So that might be coming from the other direction. I don't know. Oh, still was chilly. It's chilly out there. So to, so this is, this is one of those nights, you know, where... <laughs> And my bed, the way it is, is that I have so many covers on my bed that when I get out of bed at night, if I don't, if I don't just get out of bed just right, by the time I get back to the bed, I, I get in and I, there's so many covers are all weird and you know it's like oh my god I can't, so I have to kind of make up my bed tonight again with added covers and stuff. And sometimes it's a little heavy, you know, and I, I kind of like that, but sometimes it's a little bit too heavy. But on a night like this, it's just freaking cold. It's going to be a not a, you know, like I say, it'd probably be, well, it's 66 degrees in here, so it's not brutally cold or anything like that, but, and so I did find this, you know, I don't remember if anybody remembers this, but my daughter gave me this, it's funny, some of the women in my life, you know what they give me? Blankets. 
I don't want to see a woman in California give me a quilt. <laughs> My daughter gives me blankets. Yeah, I guess people want to keep me warm, you know. My daughter gave me this blanket. And it is a beautiful blanket. And what did I do? Oh, yeah, I think, I think what I did was I washed it. But then I forgot it in the washer for like, I don't know, I think three years or something like that. And it grew mold. And I, th and I was just, just, I mean, this is a beautiful blanket. And so, and my daughter gave it to me. And so, I tried to figure it out, how to get rid of the, the mold or whatever. So I started, I, I washed it, and that didn't work. And then I, uh, uh, I, I think I soaked it in water and bleach. And then, and then uh, for a while, and then rinsed it out or something, did something. But it has that, you know, I don't want to have, I obviously don't want any mold around. But it smells, it smells okay. It doesn't smell like there's any mold in it. But I don't know. Still kind of sketchy about it. But I'm going to put it on my bed tonight. What else? I, I'm still a little bit leery of, of that, that thing. I... Still a little leery of it. I might give it one more bleach treatment before I actually use it. Because I've got, I've got this, which is a, a sweatshirt, <laughs> and then I've got this, which is my, 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 uh, what do you call it? My, uh, what is this thing called? Oh yeah, my. Uh, um, poncho, <laughs> and then I have this, um, this thing here, I don't know, it's some sort of, a. Uh, I don't know if this, I don't know where this came from, I think, I don't know, it's like a blank, it's like something that you, it's like the thing that you put on top of your mattress. It's the thing you put on top of your mattress. The thing you put on the top of your mattress. The thing you put on the top of your mattress. Oh, it's the thing you put on the top of your mattress. studio in Albuquerque and I put it on this thing and it started to burn and it is terrible and it burned these two huge holes in this thing and this is a, a wonderful wool blanket so I think I'm going to go ahead and this I've had this thing I've, you know this happened years ago but I just you know and I, I, I love that blanket let's go to be holes It's a blanket with two big holes. Yeah! This thing is as big as a freaking tent. And I, I love having it, but I'm kind of sad at the same time, you know, because there was some woman almost guaranteed it was a woman who made that and it is just so beautiful and so well done it's such a, a, a wonderful work of high craft that somebody would actually sell it at a garage sale or something like that I mean the thing is freaking massive I'll show it to you
Rescue Remedy. I don't know if you can see me or not. Might be too low. You know, it's not elegant from the standpoint of being, it's just beautiful, it's so well done. Someone put so much time, so much effort, so much love into this. I mean, you know, the love and the effort that went into this thing is, <clears throat> is remarkable, but eh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you have something? So I'm happy to have it. I don't know what to do with this poor thing. I, I love it. I'm going to keep it, obviously, but this doesn't work as good as it used to. Of course, I wouldn't work as good as I used to either if I had two giant holes in me. But it's still... Fun thing to have. I like that. I do. I like that kind of thing. Now this is a very, very soft blanket right here. So I'm going to take this one and put it in here. Because I'm a very delicate person. I'm very delicate. I need to have something soft next to my skin because sometimes the beans under the mattress are just too dramatic for me. The beans under the mattress are too dramatic for you? What the hell does that mean? It means the drama of the beans is very dramatic. Oh, oh yeah, and now I get it. I'm sorry for even questioning the integrity of your bean joke. It wasn't a bean joke, it was a bean fact. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is not the, this is not my, I thought, I thought for a second that this was my, uh, this was my uh, poncho. It's not. It's a blanket. It's a, it's a little. That's a little. That's. I don't know what this thing would be called. 
What would you call that? I guess it's a, uh, because it's very, you know, it's just a, it's just, well, it's be basically, I guess, a, like a blanket for a, uh, a single bed. Basically what this is. Okay. And now, now this is where it's like, ugh! Okay. I'll be going to bed pretty soon. I will be going to bed right now. I'm getting tired. Okay, well. Oh, this has been day something or other. I think it's day three. I think I think it's day three. I wrote it down. You know, if you got to this part of the video, I mean, you really, you really deserve something special. No, you don't. You deserve. What do you deserve? I don't know. I guess it's not really deserving of anything. Uh, what, what am I doing here? I came over here for some reason, and I forgot. I mean, that's what happens to me. I mean, I'll be doing something. I can't, I mean, I, it's, and I think it's, it has, it has to do, oh, yeah, I was looking for that, that time frame. I think it has to do with, uh, with the pot. I mean, I'll, my brain, I mean, it just, it just doesn't function like it used to. But I think it has a lot to do with that, uh, tremendous amounts of marijuana. This is February the 18th of 9.57 p.m. 9.57 p.m. On February 18th. So, let's see what's happening here. I got a couple of, a couple of things here. Let's see what they're going to say here. <laughs> That's cool. It's nice that, you know, when I did that video, where I put that video up to that, uh, that young 12-year-old kid. I uh, mean, what a, what a, what a, what a thing. When I was 12 years old, I was, uh, I was more interested in playing baseball. This kid's got some parents that are, that are uh, making sure that he gets a good education. His parent, this kid's parents are on the ball. Hey, Melo Rodney, thanks for clicking on my video. Ah, you shut up, you son of a bitch. Dame Edna, who's that? Who is Dame Edna? to the end of this freaking thing. I don't even I don't even know when I'm going to bed. This thing could go on for a while. You just might as well go ahead and take on off, you know, blast off if you got to because you know, probably nothing's gonna happen. I doubt if anything's gonna happen. I'm not gonna, you know, set fire to the chair or anything like that. I mean it's not gonna be a party. No big deal, nothing's gonna happen here. Let's see what we got going here. Let's see what this uh, person says. <laughs> no, Brandon Rodney, you get and take a look at that in that dumpster. That was funny because I, when I was doing the video, I was, I was, I was debating whether or not I should stop for the dumpster or follow the fire truck. You know, 
know, that was that was the entertainment thing. I was always going to follow the fire truck. But I wanted to create a little tension, you know. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't stop at the dumpster. I always he could go with that fire truck. Ah, and then when I went with the fire truck, I go, yay. And then, yeah, sure, Rodney, that's how it happened. That's exactly how it happened, Rodney. That's how they all did it. Yeah, sure, that's how it happened, Rodney. Oh, you know, man, sure, that's how it happened, Rodney. Oh, it's exactly how it happened. Ugh, let's see here. I just built him book too. I don't know. I put Tim Tim Bucko. I doubt if that's the right spelling. I have to spell that right. I mean, I can't. I can't put. A, I can't put in a spelling like that in my comments. Timbuk2 is T I M T I M B U K T U Timbuk2. And I think that's about all the there's the this, this is nice this is nice comments you get now I'm not reading you this comment so you have to com you, so you can copy the comment you know because this is what this is a nice comment I haven't even read the whole thing I just read the first line you know the rest of it could be you know but this is probably pretty good Rodney see it's always nice to address me as who I am I personally like your highness or your excellency, but you know, we're actually, actually I take that back. We're more laid back and sort of cash around here, you know. Rodney, you may not realize it, but you are very entertaining. Yeah. You had me laughing out loud. See, you know, that is one of the most wonderful things in the world because one of the things that I, that I love to do is I love to make people laugh. I mean, I just love it. It's such a, it's such a remarkable thing to be able to do, actually. Because there are some people that do not have a sense of humor. Uh, very few, but I mean, some people just, they're just, they're not funny. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I'm like a, you know, a freaking, you know, Desi Arnaz or something. I'm just saying... You know, once in a while I can say something funny. Today I was at the... <laughs> Today I was at the... Uh, at the... At the uh, flea market. And there was this... Hey, did you see that thing up there? It was a... It was a milker... It was a milky machine and a butter churn thing all in one. Like, it's like... And I just... It just I said, yeah, yeah, that's a great thing if you want to spend the rest of your life milking a cow. And then I, don't know if I just, like, blurted it out, you know, because... I think because I'm, you know, fucking detoxing and I'm just like, bah, bah, just whatever I want to say. But I mean, I do shit like that all the time anyway. <laughs> the guy said, you know, it's kind of a funny thing that you said that, you know. It was funny. I mean, it was, it was, he thought it was interesting, but he was, it was very humorous. Oh, let's see here. Oh. But I like it. If people, if people, if I can make somebody laugh, if they can laugh out loud, that actually, you know, put an extra two minutes worth of life into them. Or something. I mean, there's, there's got to be, you know, because if 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 scientists can come with this stuff, oh yeah, every every 
time you, you know, you blow your nose, it takes 10 seconds off your life or some fucking thing. That's fine, you know, but how many, how much time added does one good belly laugh give to a person? I mean, it's one of the goals of my life to make people laugh. It is. I love doing it. And I can do it, I do it all the time. Because I can read people real well. Dope, did they? I was at the flea market today, right? And so afterwards, I went over. I was going to go to uh, to get some get some breakfast. So, so uh, I was debating on whether or not to go to the grocery store to get the big honkin' burrito, or just go to McDonald's and get the little thing that you know. There's this kind of good the sausage on the English muffin, which. So anyway, I went to McDonald's and. <laughs> I was in there, and there were these guys in there, and I was looking at them, and, and they're about as old as me. Well, maybe not quite as old as me, but pretty damn close. And they had their, their wives with them, or their girlfriends, or whatever they were. And they're on motorcycles. I mean, they are freaking suited up to the max. I mean, it's like 25 degrees outside, and they're on motorcycles. And so... As I was leaving, the two guys had already gone out and were getting ready. The motorcycles ready, and, the, and I, I met one of the women at the, at the place to dispose of the, you know, the trash thing. And I says, "Oh, you, you got man, it's cold out there." She says, "Oh, it's brutal, you know. Says, we're going to, going to, uh, to uh, Carlsbad." And it was two. Both both of the women were in there, and the guys are outside. You know, I go, "Well." You're living the dream. <laughs> and it was funny. I mean, you know, she, because, I mean, you could tell that she was, she was, uh, it was cold. It's fucking cold. I mean, she's, you know, say, oh, it's, it's miserable, you know. <laughs> and so I'm sure that she, she, uh, she understood that it was said in humor, but there was still a little tinge of, Hey, you know, it's your dream. You know, you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> On the back of a motorcycle going down the road at 60 miles an hour at 25 degree temperatures. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. I can see you guys later. I just got out of bed. It was a long night's rest. 823, it's 50 degrees inside. So it's... I think this is one of the coldest mornings I've ever had here. 50 degrees inside my house. It's just got up. It's 9.40 a.m. And for the first time ever, I've turned my kiln on to try to get the place a little warmer. It says 76. It's already heating up. But when I looked at it, when I looked at it, the temperature thing, it was like 40 degrees inside my studio. It's 40 degrees inside my house in the studio. So that's not a good thing. You know, that's one reason I like to leave my house. I have left my house before, but I always, you know, uh, have the heater uh, back here, making sure that my paint doesn't freeze. So it hasn't been, you know, below freezing inside my house, but Fuck if it's not. It looks like it's freezing right there on that thermometer. It's 32 degrees in here. It's literally 32 degrees inside my studio. That is not good. But it's 108 inside that box, 112 inside that box. So it's going to start warming up in there pretty quick. And if it wasn't, I'm going to put my heater... Probably end up putting my heater outside. You know, the thing about me is I don't really pay attention to the weather. <laughs> I'm a, you know, I just don't do that. But I should. I don't watch. I don't even watch the local news. You know, the national news, the international news is the. You know, if I look at the local, if I look at the local news, then it's really going to be bad because 
Albuquerque, New Mexico is not, I'm telling you, it ain't, uh, it's, I've had more trouble in, in, uh, in Albuquerque than I had in Los Angeles, and I lived in the Rampart District of L.A. by MacArthur Park. So that I'll tell you how, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, dog in Albuquerque so much. It's just the fact that there's, you know, where I go in Albuquerque by the university area, there's a lot of weird shit going on as far as I'm concerned. That's where I've had my, by the university, that's where I had my problems. But, you know, you know, in a university, well, I don't know. It's just, I just don't, uh, what am I even talking about this shit for? I'm over here to get some tea. I did have a really nice sleep, nice sleep last night. I only woke up once, and I must have slept at least, well, let me see. I don't even remember what time I got up, but it had to have been at least eight hours, probably eight hours of rest. This is real good. I did take a, a, sleep, a full sleeping pill last night. That wiped me out. And I'm going to have to go outside and get some more firewood. cold in here. Oh, it's cold in here. Okay, let me see if I can make this thing glow using only the power of my mind. Dude, you're a stud. Now for the ultimate test. Remarkable. 